Hello everybody, my name is HD 1450 welcome back to the video, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install a shader pack to your Minecraft. So if you guys enjoy this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel, I'd really appreciate that. Because about 96% of the people that watch my content are not subscribed, so if you hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate that. So I do know a lot of people do... Uh, do tutorials on how to install shader packs to Minecraft but I got a comment the other day saying that what uh, shader pack you use and I thought why not just do a tutorial how to install and you can also get the one I actually use as well but anyway guys not doing any more talk it straight into the video so the, the first thing you want to do guys is have your Minecraft right here and just load your Minecraft up pretty simple stuff now once you've loaded up make sure you've got a brand new version of your Minecraft in here so basically click uh, latest released right there and just pretend this is not here right now this is my default Optifine but anyway just click on latest release right here and click play now once this plays it should download or it might ha you might have a version ready for this I'm not really too sure but if you don't just download a brand new one just like this pretty simple stuff and now once your Minecraft has loaded up just like this all you have to do is a quick game just simply quick game like that that's all you have to do and the next thing you have to do guys is come straight over to the link in the description it should take you straight over to Octavine right here so yeah we are installing a shader pack for one Minecraft 1.12.2 so you're going to want to download 1.12.2 but if you want to download a shader pack for 1.9 all you got to do is come down further and download a 1.9 Octavine but anyway, we are downloading 1.12.2 and just click on download. And now once this is actually downloading, guys, I'm actually going to say that if you are not subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button because a lot of people watch my content but not subscribed. So I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, guys. And that would be really helpful. And guys, once this is actually downloaded, I'm going to tell you guys what type of content I actually do on this channel. So I basically do a lot of Minecraft content on this channel. And a lot of it is like seed videos and prison videos, top three prisons and top three seeds and sometimes tutorials like this on this channel so basically anyway it's downloaded right now all you want to do is put this to your desktop and it's actually minimize this right now and here is the file right here so once you've got the file guys you got to make sure you have java installed if not it probably won't work all you got to do is double click it and then this should come up right here and if you double click it and it doesn't come up all you got to do is right click open with and then straight over to java right there and just click that pretty simple right there so yeah, once you've got it right here, all you've got to do is click install, and then once it's installing, and then you should get a notification like this one here, telling you it's actually installed. So yeah, once it's actually installed, that is basically it, you've got Octavine installed and ready. So what you've got to do now is load up Minecraft, and once Minecraft is actually loading up, I'm going to go straight over to launcher options, and this is the version we had right here, the latest release. So once you come over to uh, launcher options, all you've got to do is click add new. And then click on uh, versions here and then just scroll down and you should find it actually i've got a bunch of stuff in here yours won't look like this if you haven't played minecraft for a long time basically all you got to do is click on one of the latest releases right here and if you don't know what is the latest released all you got to do is got to check your file so as you can see it's got hd underscore u underscore d1 right there so basically all you got to do is look for that one in here and that should be pretty simple as you see it's that one right there so it's pretty simple if you want to find it and once you've done that just click save and it is actually in here right now it's down at the bottom here right here so what you do now is click over to news and then find it in here as well so there it is right there and then just load it up pretty simple there once it's actually loading up so minecraft has loaded up right now and just to go and check if we have actually installed it properly or just click on options right now click on video settings and you see that is shaders right there so that is shaders right there if you've got that there you know you've installed it properly so as you see i've got a, a shader pack in here right now but now guys i'm going to tell you guys how to actually get the one i actually use so you want to know the one i actually use all you've got to do is come over to the link in the description it should take you straight to my website right here and the website is actually called uh, razor hd 49 or top ips right there and yeah, once you come to the website, the page should look like this once it loads up, just like this. And yeah, we've got to do is click on download over here. And then you won't see this video in here. Uh, you, you will see the video you're watching right now in here. So just let you guys know that you'll see a different video here when you guys come to this page. But yeah, we've got to do is click on this download here. Then it should take you straight over to Mediafire, then click download just over here. 
I see Minecraft shader right there. Just download this, pretty simple. And now I'm gonna drag that straight to my desktop, right there. I've got to replace it because I've already got a copy on my desktop. And now you can close this page down. So now once you've got this file right here, you will need WinRAR for this. So we will leave a link down below to go and uh, download that if you haven't got it. All you've got to do is double click on it. And I'm gonna drag it across right now. And actually here is the file right here. All you've got to do is double click that. And here is the file right here. This is the actual shader pack file. So just drag that to your desktop, just like that. Pretty simple. And now once that is on your desktop, all you've got to do is go straight back over to Minecraft and click on shaders, uh, shader folder. And let me bring that across. Actually, I've already got the uh, shader in here, but all you've got to do is drag in your shader file just into here, just like that. So it's pretty simple, guys. Uh, it's really easy to do. If the option is not here for you, uh, shader folder, the next thing you could go to is actually to your mic dot minecraft and shader packs and just put it in there as well and that should work so yeah, we're actually going to try the actual shader pack out as well to see how good it actually looks and this is actually a really good shader pack so you need a powerful pc to actually run this shader pack but guys once we're actually going to check this out i actually want to say as well that if you are not subscribed to the channel i really appreciate it if you actually subscribed because that would be really helpful guys because a lot of people watch my content but don't subscribe. So if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. And we're almost going to hit 2k subs. I reckon we're going to be hitting it in the next 3 to 4 5 months. Something like that. But anyway, as you can see guys, we are here right now. And let's put it full screen. So yeah guys, it might lag a little bit because I'm not actually recording in game capture. I'm just using a, a window capture right now. And yes, so, so if it's not the best smoothness, that is the reason why. But anyway, as you can see, it looks so good. As you can see, the shaders look amazing. But anyway, guys, this is how you actually install the shader pack for Minecraft. So if you guys actually enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to this channel. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.